Awesome. So we'll we'll proceed to that point, Brother Jones. Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Mac Jones. I'm 13 years old, the oldest of four, and I'm currently attending Payne Junior High. I was asked to speak on conference. And before wondering how, we should really wonder why we need to prepare for a general conference. I mean, it's God's word, right? It's, it's very important. But does anybody really remember any of the messages shared last general conference? We all know how hard it is to remember every single message of general conference, and I'm confident we need not be embarrassed if we don't remember everything. But as Dieter F. Uchtdorf said in a 2011 Enzyme article, nevertheless, there are messages in each general conference given as a gift and a blessing from heaven, specifically for our personal life situations. God's word is bestowed upon us every six months through the prophets and apostles, and it is key to a happy and blessed life. Now we must ask ourselves, how do we prepare for God's word? We all have spiritual questions in our lives that we want answered. We should approach this general conference with those questions in mind, as God knows you individually, and through the variety of talks and sessions, there is sure to be at least one talk that touches on one of your questions. Answers could come to you through something as small as a few words, or a seemingly small sub-talk, subtopic lost in the entirety of the talk. Without being focused on general conference in its entirety, you may miss the little tidbit that would answer your prayers. As Brother Mark A. Barrio Nuevo suggests, my family and I find that the best way to prepare for the next general conference is by immersing ourselves in the counsel given in the previous one. I believe that by reviewing the Lord's most recent teachings, we may be more prepared for his newest lessons. You can incorporate these recent teachings into your daily life in the car, going to sleep, or literally anywhere in your day where you have an extra 15 minutes. But in my opinion, the best way to prepare yourself for general conference is to ask the Lord yourself. In Russell M. Nelson's talk, Hear Him, it's an incredible talk, it's one of my favorites, I highly recommend it. He lists out many ways for us to receive personal revelation. This personal revelation can tell us what to look for in a general conference and how to prepare for his word. Personally, I receive revelation through the Holy Ghost. President Nelson states, It has never been more imperative to know how the Spirit speaks to you than right now. In the Godhead, the Holy Ghost is the messenger. He will bring thoughts to your mind which the Father and Son want you to receive. The way I bring the Holy Ghost to me is I find a place that mimics the temple. I turn my room into a quiet place, devoid of the chaos that is my siblings. <laughs> and I just turn on some music and I just write down what comes to me. And if I don't receive any, bless any promptings, then I just got an amazing spiritual recharge. I know that the church and the gospel are true in that um, all of the prophets are divinely inspired and if we listen to them and prepare for what they have to say we can reap the benefits and i say these things in the name of jesus christ amen good morning brothers and sisters um that was a great talk mac i'm always impressed with him his musical skills everything just amazed me but um i felt like i was having a return missionary in front of me. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous to present now. And then I was going to have um, 